Let's begin with the similarities. Both bacteria and protozoa are unicellular microscopic organisms. Let's take one example of each to understand the concept better. This is E. coli or Escherichia coli, the most extensively studied microorganism. It has been a model system for the study of bacterial metabolism, the cell division, cell replication, bacterial genetics, and even we are synthesizing recombinant proteins inside this bacterium. And this is Paramecium, a well-known model organism of the ciliate group that is widespread in freshwater, brackish water or in marine environments. Difference number one regarding the cell structure. Bacteria are prokaryotes and belongs to the kingdom Monera according to the five kingdom classification proposed by Whittaker. So as you see prokaryotes means the genetic material is not surrounded by a membrane. Whereas protozoa are eukaryotes they are having a true nucleus. As you see, this genetic material is surrounded by a nuclear membrane and belongs to the kingdom protista in five kingdom classification. Difference number two. In the case of bacteria, nucleus and other membrane bound organelles are absent. Organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, called G bodies, mitochondrion, etc., are absent in bacteria. Whereas in a protozoa, it is a typical eukaryotic cell having all the membrane-bound organelles like ER, Golgi apparatus, mitochondrion, etc. The third difference is regarding the size. Bacteria, the size ranges from 0.5 to 5 micrometer. It is comparatively smaller to protozoans. Whereas protozoans are large, typically ranging from 5 to 1000 micrometers. Bacteria are present in almost everywhere. They are found in diverse environments, soil, rock, water, hot sulfur springs and even in Arctic snow. Bacteria that can thrive in high temperatures are called as thermophiles. Some can tolerate high salinity. They are called as halophiles. Even in moon or Mars exploration, for the presence of life, what we are actually looking is the presence of bacteria as it can possibly live in almost any condition. Whereas protozoans, they are basically aquatic and they can live in fresh water, brackish water or in marine environment. Regarding the mode of nutrition, bacteria are autotrophic, maybe photosynthetic like cyanobacteria or chemosynthetic like thiobacillus or maybe heterotrophic may be saprophytic, parasitic or symbiotic. Symbiotic like rhizobium that, that lives in the root nodules of legumes, parasitic in many organisms also. Whereas protozoans, the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic. The exception is in the case of euclina. They are photosynthetic with chloroplast and they are also heterotrophic. They can survive by consuming bacteria, yeast, fungi and algae are actually predators. Regarding the reproduction, bacteria, the normal method of reproduction is asexual reproduction and that is by binary fission. And there is a primitive form of sexual reproduction which is called as conjugation that is also happening in bacteria during unfavorable conditions. In the case of protozoans, protozoans can reproduce sexually or asexually. Sexual reproduction by syngamy or sexual fusion of gametes whereas asexual reproduction by budding and binary fission. And finally, the role of bacteria in an ecosystem, they may be decomposers like Bacillus subtilis and Pseudomonas fluorescens or maybe nitrogen fixers like Acetobacter clostridium. Some are pathogens like Streptococcus pyogenes that cause strep throat or Mycobacterium tuberculosis that cause TB. So they are of medical importance also. They are disease causing in wide variety of organisms including humans. Whereas protozoans are, some are parasites like Endamoeba histolytica that lives in the intestine causing intestinal illness. Some are predators like Paramecium that feeds on other bacterium, fungus, small zooplankton, etc. And some are pathogens like Plasmodium falciparum that causes malaria. 
Taxoplasma gondi that causes taxoplasmosis. Some are disease-causing pathogens also. So these are the differences between protozoans and bacteria. Hope you are clear. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with Biology Exams for it. Go.